Hey, Scott Knightlick, Marketing Manager for MaddieCollector.com, here at the Mattel Design Center to show you another sneak peek at some upcoming figures. Looks like I just had someone fall behind me there. We got three great figures to show today. I've got Death and Tiny Titans, two of our San Diego Comic Con items, and uh, the guy that just fell over there, Black Mask, one of our DC Club Infinite Earths figures, shipping later this year. So let me start over here with the Lady of the Hour, Death. Now, Death is what we call a staction figure. She's a kind of a non-articulated action figure that's more of a statue. She does have some limited articulation. Uh, she's got joints at the elbows, I'm sorry, the shoulders that go up and down, not at the elbows, as well as the head and the waist will turn. There, in the, there's like a midriff kind of joint. She comes off of her stand. Her onk is attached via a string. We'll get a little close up there. But now you can see, Death is not a DCU classic six-inch figure. She is eight inches tall. Let's see if I can get her on the base there with the pegs, peg holes, go in the skull base. Uh, I'll grab a, here's a DCU classics animal man here. So you can see the scale difference here and the articulation difference. So really, she's the first DC staction figure we're trying out. We'll see how she does if this is a way DC fans want to collect their characters. Definitely something we can look at doing with more characters in the future. And it doesn't preclude us from doing death as a six inch figure later on down the line, just because we're doing it as a staction first. And uh, here is death's beautiful packaging. We'll get a close up there. A nice window box, and there's the back, all with original art by the original death artist, as a, well as a bio there. And then you get the vertigo and the DC logos at the bottom. So that is the Comic Con death staction. Next up, Tiny Titans. These guys are so cute. All right. So since they're kind of small, I'll bring them close up. You get five different Titans here. None, they're not articulated. They're, uh, they're kind of like slug, like Smurf figures you might have had as a kid. Um, even Action League had articulation. You can move the heads. Hold on, let's put this down. One thing at a time. So there is articulation here at the head, but there's no articulation in the body. They're all done based on the look from the comic book. They all come right off the base. So you can pop them right off. Raven here has even a little floating stand there. See, so she's in a, uh, a little yoga pose and uh, her stand gives her the illusion that she's floating there above the rest of the Titans. So you can put the rest of them there on the base. And they come packed out in this really cool school bus packaging. You open it up and each figure is individual in their own little box here. So you get a box with the figure in it, and then on the back is some little art and a bio. So you can display them in lots of different cool ways. You can take them all out of the box, and get them all out there. All right, you got Robin, we got Raven, we got Cyborg. So uh, a lot of fun ways. There we go. Oh, there goes Beast Boy on the floor. We'll pick him up later. All right, so that is Tiny Titans on their way to convention or bus, driven by Slade there. He's, <laughs> he's driving the bus to Doom. We'll see where he gets to. That'll be available first at Comic-Con and later after the show on MaddieCollector.com. The last item, I have Black Mask. So here is Black Mask, one of our new Club Infinite Earths figures. Here's the packaging there. Now flip it around. You can see the brand new bio, the new art. So Black Mask, if you have a previous DCU figure that uses the suit buck, like the Question or Sandman, you pretty much know what you're getting. Standard articulation, new parts needed for Black Mask. Uh, you know, it's got all the articulation you'd expect. He's got some pretty cool accessories here. So he's got his dagger. He's got his blade weapon. It's probably a technical name for that that I don't know off the top of my head. And there's uh, Batman's cowl, just like from the famous comic book panel. Now, uh, the knife doesn't actually go through the cowl. Um, it's solid plastic, but you can kind of simulate that and uh, hold the mask up in his hand. So that's it. So that's Black Mask with his accessories. All right, so Black Mask is part of Club Infinite Earths. Tiny Titans and Death are available first at Comic-Con. And for everything else, check out the news section of MaddieCollector.com. I'll see you next time.